Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabansi. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We'll be covering everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we'll give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And today we got a pretty, pretty uh, interesting show for you guys. But before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now, <clears throat> as you know, there was a very big game in the NBA yesterday featuring the Denver Nuggets and the Los Angeles Lakers. Very, very interesting game. And in that game, the Lakers pretty much led the way pretty much all the way up until maybe the midpoint uh, in the third quarter. But ultimately, the Denver Nuggets were able to gain some momentum, had a pretty big uh, uh, third quarter. And then Jamal Murray just absolutely <laughs> lost his mind uh, in the fourth quarter. And they went on to uh, to beat the Lakers pretty handily uh, in the fourth quarter. But going into that game, there was a particular storyline that was lurking in the background. What was the storyline? The storyline was... The outright disrespect that the Denver Nuggets felt by the national media. The Denver Nuggets felt like they were one of those teams that were not being respected, although they were the number one seed for the entirety of the NBA season. They felt like they were not given enough, they were not being given enough uh, attention. And I believe at the end of game one, Denver Nuggets head coach Mike Malone made some comments uh, that he was responding to, I believe, some comments that Darvin Hand made, where he basically said, Trust me, they thought they figured something out, but trust me. They would, they would, if the Lakers were in our shoes, they would want to be up 1 0 uh, at the moment. So, yesterday they won the game. And what I'm noticing about Mike Malone is that he's a very, very, um, let me say, uh, talkative kind of coach. He says he's, he, I mean, he's pretty open with his thoughts. Um, he's not reserved. He says what he thinks. Um, and that's quite refreshing, right? So, I was listening to him this morning in the post game presser where he was taking some interview, some questions uh, rather from some of the reporters at the end of the game. And then I think one of the reporters uh, questioned him, uh, questioned him, excuse me, on, I guess, a lack of attention or respect that the Denver Nuggets have been getting and how the media has really been trying to make it about the Lakers. It's not, it's not, it's not that the Denver Nuggets are doing well, it's that the Lakers are doing something wrong. Um, and he pretty much went at a lot of the media members that were basically discounting and, dare I say, uh, flat out disrespecting um, the excellence of the Denver Nuggets. So what we want to do is want to play exactly uh, what he had to say here to the reporter, and then we're going to really come back and you know uh, get into his comments here. So take a listen to what Mike Malone had to say there. Uh, I think a lot of our guys, to be honest, they may not admit this or not. You know, uh, you win Game One of the playoffs, and all everybody talked about was the Lakers. Let's be honest; that was a national narrative. Was hey, the Lakers are fine. They're down one zero, but they figured something out. No one talked about Nikola just had a historic performance. He's got 13 triple doubles now, third all time. What he's doing is just incredible, but the narrative wasn't about the Nuggets. The narrative wasn't about Nikola. The narrative is about the Lakers and their adjustments. So, you know, you put that in your pipe, you smoke it, and you come back, and you know what? We're going to go up 2-0. Do you think that narrative changes tonight? Well, I don't care if it does, you know what I mean? Because we know our narrative in that locker room. We know that we're not done. We haven't done anything yet. All right, you got to win a game on the other team's home court if you really want to do something in a series. And we know how great that team is, especially on their home court. So uh, we're not celebrating. You know, this is not cause for celebration. This is a cause to continue to dig deep and find ways to be better. So you heard what Mike Malone had to say, right? Um, and to be totally honest with you, I think the head coach, he has some points. He has some points, right? The media, I mean, the Lakers pretty much dominate sports media. They do, right? They're the number one team every single day. We've discussed this about shows like, for example, Undisputed. Uh, they usually have three go-to topics. They have Tom Brady, LeBron, slash the Lakers, and then they have the Dallas Cowboys, and then they just kind of switch them up. But those that's the, the main staples of their show. Now, ESPN, first take, I've noticed that they they uh, they have a more diverse range of topics that they talk about on a daily basis. But, daily basis. but for the most part, it's, it's predominantly Laker content. Right. And I think it's one of the reasons why a lot of people that consume content on YouTube assume that, hey, uh, if you're not talking about the Lakers, you're not going to be successful. Like some people have accused us about this on the channel. Oh, you only need the Lakers to get views. And I'm like, guys, it's a totally different game on, on YouTube. But they're like, no, 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 no. So I understand. Right. The Lakers dominate the airwaves. And I think one of the reasons for that is one of one of many reasons. But I think one of the big the, the major reasons is, number one, the size of their audience. California, I don't even know what's the, let me, I mean, let me just check right here. Let me see what the population of California is. I mean, I'm, it must be some huge population uh, of California. California has how many people? 39 million people. 39 million people. 
That's how many people live in California. And a lot of Laker fans are there. Then if you start to factor in all of the Laker fans that support the team globally, you're talking about tens of millions of people. And I think sports media companies understand this, that a lot of people have a lot of interest in this team. So therefore, it, it, it means that we should talk about them because a lot of people are going to be interested in them. But that still doesn't mean that you have to take away from the greatness of other teams and other players. And you heard uh, Mike Malone kind of listing off some of the major accomplishments that Nikola Jokic um, is making. I think now he's number three all time in playoff triple doubles, number three, and number four, which is insane. Let, let me let, just, just let me just segue for a moment here. Nikola Jokic is a bad boy, man. That dude ain't nothing to play with. He ain't nothing to play with. I cannot believe just how good this dude is. And maybe Mike Malone is talking about people like me as well because we didn't pay a lot of attention to him during the regular season, but it's regular season, but my God. I mean, he is incredible. He is so talented to see a seven-footer run the break the way he does. It is actually unreal. This guy's skill set. And his basketball IQ is just really off the charts. Off the charts. And I think it goes back to the point that he's making, which is the Denver Nuggets have a lot of interesting storylines. You could talk about Jamal Murray and how he just went bananas in that fourth quarter. You can talk about the greatness of Nikola Jokic. And I think that what is happening here is simply this. I think that a lot of these guys that continue to, uh, what is it, ignore teams like the Denver Nuggets, I think that what they're doing is they're putting a chip on those guys' shoulder, uh, shoulders. And they're really motivating them to prove a point. And a lot of these guys like to upset the apple cart. I was listening to John Sally uh, in a recent interview that he did on Vlad, and he was like, we were happy that the Detroit P Pistons basically messed up the script because maybe the NBA wanted this team to win, to, to win or that player to win. And we were happy that, that we were able to come up, come up in there and just mess up the entire thing. Right. So I think that's also something that's subtly motivating some of these guys, which is the flagrant disregard that they're getting throughout the media. I think that is an element here that we cannot ignore. I think it's a real aspect to all of this. So what I want to know from you guys is simply this. Number one, what do you think about the points Mike Malone brought up? Do you think that the Denver Nuggets are being dismissed and being disrespected? Or do you think that no? Um, the Lakers are the bigger team, and it's just it's just the way that it's going to be. Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section, and we catch you on the next show.